The name for the month, the moon phases, is Malama, and then the weeks are called Anahulu. And then this week we are in the Ho'onui Anahulu. And today's moon is actually Kulua. And we have four stages of Ku, so like Ku, the god Ku. And in that moon phase, it's really good time at night to plant Uala, Maia, and Kalo. It's also a good time to go fishing. So I first became involved with KKLA as soon as I returned home from the mainland. My husband is a, was a Marine, he's retired now. He just retired in June. I just had this desire to come home and start teaching. Right now I'm officially a long-term substitute at YNI High School, so that basically means while I'm on a substitute pay, like day by day, I still have my own classroom. I'm on the student's you know, registration form. I do the lesson plans, I teach the class. I always knew I wanted to teach, but I, I knew I didn't want to do it right after high school or even right after college. But I also knew I never wanted to teach on the mainland. That's not where my heart is. My heart is here. So I wasn't going to use my talents and my passion to build another community. As soon as I came home in 2014, I had actually saw um, a banner. And I received an email shortly after from Kai asking about the program and what is the eligibility requirements. Um, she wanted to see if she could become a part of the program. And so from that part, uh, we started to do the application process and the eligibility process. Money is always a good help, right? So how I finance my education since I got my BA is all through federal loan. And I think I signed up for a few small scholarships. With the IDA, at the same time that I'm saving, you know, getting money for college, I'm learning to save. $9 a month, $120 a year. $120 a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a small, you got a small, you can buy your thingy for money, you can get your picture. What is it? Um, yeah. $32 more. So I'm participating in funding my own education and it's almost like they're rewarding me for using the lessons that they teach me. Any extra kind of funding or resources that you can have to you know, sustain like finances is, is always a plus and the idea really does that. After talking with her and seeing that she was eligible to receive the education savings account services, I realized she should also um, take advantage of our education coaching services as well. And so that's how she kind of became a full uh, Kulia and Kalama Education Academy participant. She came to us wanting to find out the quickest way to become a teacher, being that she didn't take education classes. And so we went through a bunch of different options because she has her bachelor's and soon to have her master's. When Ileana came into the program, she just like, oh, you have this, you have this. Told me exactly what I need, what I don't need. Gave me websites, gave me practice study guides. And she was like, you don't even, you can just take the practice. You can study, take the practice. I'm like, perfect. She's like, but you know, it's good to go back and take certain education courses, maybe a second AA or maybe even a, like a post back or even, she's like, maybe you should take a master's education. That's what I wanted, like substantial information and not so much, I don't know. Like KKLEA, I came in with a question and they, really helped to answer it and give me exactly what I wanted, the quickest, efficient way to get a teaching license. My passion is history, but there's a need for math, so I'm going to go with math first. It was just amazing that in Waianae there was a program that focused on everything that I wanted to do. Like for one, I was Native Hawaiian, they help Native Hawaiians. For one, they want teachers from the community, I'm from the community. They want people to pursue education, that's what I do, pursue education. They provide coaching, they provide financial literacy, they provide education literacy, like Ileana does the, the education, Sadie does the financial, and I was like, this program is amazing, like, I don't even have to do anything, all I gotta do is go to, what, learning events, perfect, I, I can educate myself while trying to educate others, it's just, it was amazing. To see somebody be able to benefit from all of the services is kind of something that we kind of hope would happen, and Kai is just one of the individuals who's benefited from it. In peace acknowledges that for systems change to happen, that there are so many pieces that need to be moving, and so that momentum is gained best when we develop small pockets of support that move that holistic strategy forward. And so it's a really lofty goal, <laughs> but I think that it's worth it because the idea is to create lifelong transformation so that 
classrooms become spaces where kids can not only connect um, relationally to the teacher, but also to the land and to the ancestral knowledge that's present within there, within the context of our educational system. Oh, 